Hello ladies! Today's topic, mascara. Have you wandered the mascara maze? Read too many women's magazine recommendations? Stood in front of the myriad of mascara offerings in your drugstore or department store? Totally overwhelmed or confused? Well, I'm here to help. Despite all of these offerings, many of the formulas are exactly the same. Did you know that most of the companies that are overwhelming you with their mascara offerings are owned by the same corporation? Yes, many mascaras on the market are the same formula sold under different names. I have friends uh, high up in the beauty industry and I am telling you the secret. It is not the formula that changes, just the brush, the wand. Yes, ladies, it's the brush you want to look for. Now listen to this. L'Oreal owns Maybelline, Lancome, Yves Saint Laurent, and Urban Decay. Estee Lauder owns Clinique, MAC, and Bobbi Brown. Procter & Gamble owns CoverGirl, and Revlon owns Elle May. See, we might think these brands are all different, but they're owned by the same four big companies. All the formulas uh, for the mascara are not really different. No, it is the wand. Find the wand that works for you. That will make the difference. Here we go. How to pick the mascara wand to get the eyelashes you want. I'll walk you through it from sparse to thick and everything in between. For length. My personal favorite, I, Barbara, do not want really thick lashes, but I like the long singular ones. So I use a brush that is skinny to separate the lashes and coat even the tiniest of hairs. You comb it evenly through your lashes, but don't do any wiggling movements because that will cause clumping. Now, this is not going to give you massive volume, only length, but I personally like the control over the clumping. For volume, you want full fluffy lashes, then you want a thick, dense brush. The fatter the brush, the more mascara it will pick up and you get thicker lashes, more volume. However, clumping is the occupational hazard on this one, so in, to avoid the infamous clump, look for a fat brush without the bristles being too close together. L'Oreal Voluminizer is a really nice one for this. For major drama, think Kardashians or the old-time movie stars. You want to look for a fat wand with tight, tight bristles. Lots of bristles will seriously bulk up your fringe. Now, I have tried these. It's just too overdone for me. I felt like I ended up looking like a doll or as some would say with the spider leg lashes. However, it is a look that is trending right now, especially for nighttime. Do you want curled lashes? There are curved wands, especially for this. Now, you want to concentrate on the roots, not the tips, because the heavy or the tips, it'll weigh down your lashes and drag down the curl. Do you want to beef up lower lashes? Well, you want a tiny brush, which is called a micro wand. You're going to wipe the excess product from the tip, and then you can use the wand vertically. Be moderate. Thick lower lashes are very 60s, not modern, so we need to tone it back. Sometimes I don't even put mascara on my lower lashes. I'll just put like a little eyeliner. Some other wands. Okay, there's tapered. These are small at the inner corner and wider at the outer corner. Control is more difficult, and I personally found the process to be messy. I think you will only purchase one of these in your mascara lifetime. Ball wand. These are designed to do one lash at a time. The uh, wand has a little ball on the end of it. They're effective, but a lot of work. Plastic or rubber bristles. Okay, these quickly deposit a lot of mascara on your lashes. You'll get bold lashes, but the application is very wet. So don't blink too much or definitely don't sneeze after you use a rubber wand because you'll have the famous raccoon eyes. 
However, if you like to reapply mascara throughout the day, the plastic or rubber wand is good because it will not snag on your lashes. Now, are you willing to spend $20? I like this one a lot. It's called MAC Hot and Naughty. And the little uh, beauty of it is you get two brushes in one tube. One thick brush, and then at the end, one skinny brush. So you use the thick one for the top lashes and the thin one for the bottom lashes. And there's a lot of mascara in this tube, so it lasts a long time. Here's another tip. Go to any makeup counter and tell them how you want your lashes to look. Then they'll pull out a mascara and ask them to show you the brush. Also, many will give small samples. Look at these, ladies. These are all samples from all different companies. If they'll give them to me, they'll give them to you. Just ask nicely. Then, um, after you've decided what brush you want by looking at the makeup counter, you can go to your local drugstore and look for the same size brush. They show the brush on the back or front of the package. Did you know that many supermodels use a drugstore brand and they have the money to buy Chanel if they want to? Because they know the brands are not all that different. Today's lesson, it's the brush, not the mascara that transforms your eyes. Let's stop the mascara madness. One more thing, if you have thin lashes and want to grow them, I found a great product for you. Uh, it's called Blink Lash Enhancer. It's less than half the price of the prescription Latisse. I like it a lot. It gave me some lovely length. I had some people ask me uh, if I'm wearing false eyelashes and I'm over 60, false eyelashes, I'd have those things glued to my forehead. Oh, no thank you. I'll put the link below for you if you're interested. Okay ladies, no more unloved mascaras sitting in the drawer. I do want to say one more thing. You're going to see some vol volumizing mascaras. Uh, they have some microfibers in them, uh, supposedly for thickness. If you want to try those, great. But remember, look for the brush. Okay. Save your money. Love your eyes.